Hey gang, Evan Sutton here. Today, we talk about filtering. This is the first installment of a three-part series I'm doing on the three basic filter types, low pass, high pass, and band pass. So make sure you got your hiking boots on. Today, we are talking about the Papa Bear, the low pass filter. Let's get going. Let's open up Absinthe here and let's talk about what exactly a filter does. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sawtooth here and we can listen to it. Sawtooths are big, they're buzzy, they're bright. They've got a lot of harmonic content. That's what gives it that bright, buzzy sound. They sound great on their own, but one cool thing that we can do to add musical expressiveness is add some filtering. So let's go ahead and grab a filter here. And right now it's loaded up with a low pass filter. You see we have some controls here, particularly the cutoff frequency here, all right? Now, the cutoff frequency is a, a parameter that you're gonna see on all three of the major filter types. What it represents is actually how we set which frequencies are passed and which ones are stopped or attenuated or cut off by the filter. The way that a low pass filter interprets that number is that it takes it and it passes what's below that frequency right here, and it attenuates or cuts off what's above. Now, if I turn this all the way down, we're gonna hear very little, perhaps nothing. And as I turn the cutoff frequency up, and you can do that just by clicking on this diamond and moving it in Absinthe, uh, you're gonna hear the sound get brighter and brighter. Wow, fascinating, right? So cool. So one thing that you might be noticing is that in Absinthe, we have a lot of different types of low pass filters. Six, 12, 24, two, four, eight pole. What does it all mean? Well, I'll tell you what it all means. These numbers represent how steep the cutoff is, all right? It's not a brick wall right after the cutoff frequency. It doesn't all just stop. It would sound kind of funny if we did that. And uh, we have a variety of different low pass filters with different slopes that actually uh, let us cut off the frequencies above the cutoff but with a higher and higher degree of severity as we go up in our poles, okay? Now, pole is a term that goes back a while and there's a great technical explanation for it, but for now, just know that as this number gets higher, the slope gets steeper. So, that is to say that if I grab a two pole and we listen to it, it's gonna sound a little bit brighter than a four pole. Let's switch them back and forth. Here's the two pole. And then here's the eight pole. All right, we've got another variety down here, six, 12, 24, the same principle applies. As that number goes up, we get a little bit less brightness at the top with the same cutoff. All right, which one is right for you totally depends on what kind of sound you're going for and what sounds good to you in the end. Now, uh, we have these two different varieties, these two different sections of low pass filter because in Absinthe, the ones that say pole are meant to have a more analog style sound. Uh, the ones down here have a more digital edge to them. We'll explore that a little bit more later. Let's just put this back where it was. I'm gonna turn this all the way up because we're gonna set up an envelope, all right? So the envelope is going to move the cutoff frequency every time a note is hit. And by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the amplitude envelope, which I already have in here, comes automatically at no charge to you uh, as part of Absinthe. And I'm just gonna give it a little, it's just gonna come down a little bit. This is kind of a quick baseline. Let's take a listen. All right, so let's go back over to our patching page. And uh, in order to create an envelope for the low pass filter, I'm just gonna go ahead and right click on the parameter itself. Again, in Absinthe, anytime you wanna create an envelope for something, you just right click on it. It's kinda of cool. So I'm gonna hit create a new envelope down here. It's gonna jet us over to the envelope page. And I'm gonna start working the envelope. Let's take a listen. So you could have a longer attack if you want, but I'm doing kind of a kind of a techno style uh, bass here. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a quick attack. And bring the release so that it's actually gonna come down. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a, this really, really sort of quick decay into a very low sustain segment. Now let's nice this up a little bit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to double mode. And what that does is it actually allows us to have a secondary oscillator in this oscillator module. So now we have a second sawtooth that I've tuned an octave up. 
And let's listen to it without the filter. What's cool about Absinthe is I can actually get rid of the filter by clicking on it, but I won't lose my settings, so don't worry. So we've got a little bit of extra high end that's gonna help it cut through the mix, and now this low pass filter is gonna sound great. All right, so this is kind of getting there. Uh, one other thing that I want to do is I want to turn up the feedback, also known as the resonance. They call it the feedback here with the more analog style uh, filters. And what happens as I turn that up is it's actually going to give us a little bump of gain right by the cutoff frequency. And it's going to attenuate everything else a little bit. But what that'll do is it'll give some emphasis to the cutoff frequency so that when it's moving with the envelope, we get some nice emphasis on that movement. It's going to give us a funkier sound. It's going to get a little juicy. In my mind, I like nice, juicy, plump basses. Also grapes, but you know, let's listen. Not so bad, huh? Let's actually take a listen to some of the different filter types and we can choose which one sounds best. Now I like the severity of the four pole. Let's try some of the more modern sounding ones. Ooh, a little more aggressive. That's pretty good. All right, I'm totally digging that. Let's take a listen to it with some drums. All right, there's one more thing that we can do to really make this thing sing. Let's go over to the perform section. I'm just gonna drop the polyphony to one so that it's monophonic. We're only gonna hear one note at a time. I'm gonna turn the DB down a little bit because it does tend to turn up uh, when we do that in absinthe. Let's listen. <laughs> And then I'm also going to give it a little bit of glide or portamento so that it'll actually uh, glide between the notes instead of just stepping. And uh, the legato mode is turned on so over only overlapping notes will glide. And lastly, if we change this envelope mode to release, it'll actually trigger every time we hit a note. Let's take a listen. So just keep in mind, when choosing a low pass filter, it's all about taste. Totally depends on what you're trying to do, what you think sounds best. Remember, if you turn the resonance up, you can really start to hear the different sound, the different flavors of some of these different filters. All right, so that is the low pass filter. We made a nice simple bass sound for my techno track. I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for the next two installments. Once again, this is Evan Sutton. You can catch me here at DubSpot in New York City or online. I'll catch you next time. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.